What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. You already know, we are talking the Gymshark new camo. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today you already know that we got that new camo. So yeah, Gymshark's coming out with new style camo. The new print. Have you guys seen it? I know you have. You got a taste of it on social media, didn't you? Well, uh, it's no joke. I'm gonna go ahead and say right here, right now, this just very well might be the best style camo, in my personal opinion, that I've seen from Gymshark. There's a few changes, nothing cray, but definitely worth noting. So we're gonna get into that in just a second, but real quick, we're coming off that Whitney launch. How'd it go for you? I think there's a lot of stock. I think everybody was pretty happy for the most part. Comment down below, how did it go? So yeah, it's safe to say Gymshark came back to back with some seriously awesome launches. Camo's my favorite. You guys already know if you've been following me for a while, it is hands down my number one Gymshark collection to this date, to this day, date. So definitely hit that subscribe button. We have new Gymshark Apex and Pulse coming right after this video, so you do not want to miss out. Thursday, September 30th, the new camo, along with the Apex and Pulse, will be launching at 2 p.m. EST. So mark your calendars. We got those reviews coming next. A huge thank you to Gymshark for sponsoring today's video. So in this upcoming camo launch, we are looking at leggings, shorts, Two different types of sports bras, the crisscross and the racerback, long sleeve crops, and full length tank tops. I actually don't have any in this haul, but everything else I pretty much got covered for you. So in terms of colors, for this launch, we are looking at a beautiful navy blue. Oh, this is a rich one. We got a real rich navy. They're coming out with those navies now. A stunning camo green. I'm wearing the old camo from the last launch. It's very different. This unique as heck yellow. If this does not scream giraffe, I don't know what does. Oh, look at this. This looks like honey Dijon mustard. That's my favorite type of honey mustard, mind you. And of course, they did not leave out the staple black color as well, because I know a lot of my babes, they like that staple low key black color. I get it. So guys, I don't know if every single item's coming in every single color, but from what I do know and the information that I was provided, the racer back style sports bra will be coming in black, blue, and green. The crisscross, my favorite, will be in black, yellow, and green. The shorts will be black, yellow, and green as well. The full length tanks will be in black, yellow, and blue. And that leaves us with the leggings and the long sleeve crop tops, which are coming in every single color. So all four colors. Again, that's just the information that I have. Things could change. So I just wanna give you guys a heads up in case you are planning on ordering something, what you might be expecting that day. First and foremost, I wanna just, we gotta touch base on this print right here, right now, okay? Oh, so we got a giraffe inspired camo print. How about it? I think, just me personally, I said this before, I'm gonna say it again, I think this just very well might be my favorite camo print out there. It's not that obvious camouflage look, it has a lot of that safari vibe going on. I like that, that very nature-esque type of feel to it. I mean, for crying out loud, I am wearing the one from the springtime, that green that launched. I believe this was the last camo that launched. So here's a direct comparison. You can see the difference that they strived for. This older one has a lot more of that almost rugged looking texture, a little more dried out looking scratchy, if you will. Material is not scratchy, but the overall look looks a little bit scratched up. Whereas the new camo, that giraffe inspired print, has a lot more of a saturated, solid, hydrated type of look. I mean, check it out. So the blue, green, and black, these colors have the same shade throughout, just three tones. So light blue, medium blue, dark blue, same with the green and the black. The yellow, and I believe this is why it's my favorite, all right? I'm gonna say that right here, right now. Usually I can't pick, but I'm gonna let you know the yellow's my personal favorite because I think it's just more unique than any of them. You have an actual brown color stamped throughout here. So you have the more saturated yellow, then you have almost a light scratchy tan, and then you have a deeper brown. Do you see that? So yeah, I instantly, when I saw the yellow, I fell in love right away. I'm not gonna lie. First thing I thought when I saw this print was, I got Flintstone vibes. 
All right, meet the Flintstones. So in terms of the sizing, everything's pretty much the same. So you got really similar material. Actually, it's identical. I believe the newer one has slightly more polyamide from what I saw. It's nothing that makes it fit differently. In my opinion, everything fits and looks the same. You got the same length in the leggings. You have the same length in the shorts. So sizing wise, you are good to go with whatever your true size in the camel collection is. My size is a small, pretty much everything Gymshark. I would say though, because they are so stretchy and just a moderate compression, if I was in between sizes, I would size down, especially in the leggings. In fact, I do think that in the camo, I could get away with an extra small. They're just that, that stretchy. So I know you guys are wondering, does it still have the scrunch bum? Yes, it does. The exact same scrunch is on the back here. The shorts are the same as the previous collection. So you have the ruching on the sides. All right, on the sides, you just have the raised seam contour down the back. I do want to make mention though, when I first ever tried the camo collection, I was obsessed with the scrunch bum. I think we all were, like we love camo and the scrunch. But since then, I feel like they've come out with some seriously dope style scrunch butts, like the Whitney, for example. The power actually stood out to me. I thought that was a scrunch bum from heaven. I would love to see them update the camo scrunch. I think putting a power or, or a Whitney style all the way through the backing would just really emphasize the glutes in this because it's already, to me, like the best collection Gymshark has. Now granted, I know that the other scrunch bumps are on different types of material, so maybe it works for that. Maybe those types of scrunches could not work on this type of material. I really don't know, I'm not, I'm not a designer. But I did actually meet with the design team, which was super exciting, and they were all really awesome, like I freaking knew they would be. I actually brought up the camo scrunch bum, kind of saying the same thing I just told you guys, and they were super receptive, really kind. So I don't know, we'll see what the, the future of the camo collection has to bring. But it's really cool to know that Gymshark cares. They are out there, we're listening. And I know that a lot of you gals, we talk via DMs and stuff like that. We kind of chit chat about the same type of thing. So props to Gymshark for having open ears and setting that whole thing up with me. Like I didn't even come to them, they came to me. So it was really freaking awesome. All right guys, so let's take a quick second to check out the differences in the logos. So here's how the older logo text was written right on the hip. They've now switched it over to the signature simple shark face. I actually prefer the simple shark face. As far as the logo on the back of the ankle, this was like their signature thing. They had the shark face on the back of the older one. Now they switched over to nothing on the ankle. So there's no shark face, nothing written out. Zero logo on the ankle of the new one. So Sports Bra also changed their logo a little bit. Yep, shark face instead of the text written on the clavicle. As far as backing, the new one has no shark face. So we go no logo on the back now. How about it? As far as racer back, same idea. Old one has the logo up on the top, the shark face. There's no branding on the back of the racer back. So it looks like in this collection, they went a lot more minimal with their branding. All right guys, so I hope you found that part helpful. So like I said, pretty much the same as the last launch in terms of the material, the fit and everything like that. If you are totally new to this channel, new to camo and Gymshark, please reference my last camo video where I did the whole in-depth review. I've done so many camo reviews, it's ridiculous. Ever since like their first camo, <laughs> pretty much. So I'll have that playlist linked below if you wanna reference them and see how camo has evolved over time. So now let's move on to the squat proof of these colors. I tried on every single color minus the black. That's the only one that I don't have in shorts or leggings. But each of these colors were pretty squat proof on me. I know these two were like 100% squat proof, the green and the blue. The yellow, I would give it more of like a honestly, like a 95, 99, like it was almost there. But I'm assuming that the darker colors, especially the black, is pretty much gonna be squat proof. Can we just take a moment to discuss how the long sleeves in the camo collection have changed? For the better, in my opinion, they are much stretchier, probably because that whole change of material along the years. I personally love it because, I'm not gonna lie, two years ago, the camo long sleeves were a little bit restricting for me, and I never enjoyed wearing them that much, 
but these, these are the ones that actually have that insane stretch now. And I just feel like I can actually move better in them. So I really do like how they're slowly minimalizing the camo over time. I think they're really getting with the times here and I dig it. So yeah guys, I know I mentioned and touch base on this. If you watch my reviews, you know, this is probably like repetitive as hell, but I just want to mention the two different types of sports bras. They're both more of a moderate type of support. The Racerback is more straightforward, a little tiny bit more supportive because there's more coverage in the front, whereas the crisscross patty work <laughs> has a lot more booby action. Like, But what I love about this crisscross is my favorite bra from Gymshark because it's still supportive enough where if I'm bending over, nothing's popping out at all. And I just really love the overlay of the front, the backing, the intricate highway action just makes it seem a little badass warrior kind of vibes. So me, I always opt out for the crisscross if I have a choice. So guys, I hope you found this video helpful. What are you guys thinking of the new camo design? I just wanted to hop on here real quick to cover the new colors, the new print, things like that, the minor differences between this one and the last one. But stay tuned, your much requested Apex reviews coming up next. They also got new pulse coming. Yes, this is a white freaking legging. I know you don't want to miss that shiz. There's differences, major differences with the new Apex. So we got a lot to cover in the next video. So subscribe if you are not already. Follow your girl on IG and TikTok because I do a lot of hyping up in there. Comment down below if you guys have any questions at all. Let's chit chat it up. What colors are you looking to snag, if any? Thank you so much to Gymshark for sponsoring today's video and a huge thank you to you for watching. I love you all so much and I will catch you next time.